What do first, second, and third degree connections mean on LinkedIn? In this short video, I'm gonna show you the difference and why it's so important not just to grow your first degree network, but your second degree network too. So hi, I'm Dean Seddon, CEO and founder of Maverick. If you like this video, you want more tips and tricks to get more from social media in terms of clients and revenue, hit subscribe. So first things first, what are first, second, and third degree? Let me give you a basic definition, and then we'll look at why you need to grow your first, why you need to grow your seconds, and some strategies to keep your account safe. So first things first, first degree network. So first degree network is basically the people you're at directly connected to. These people ha can see your content, they can DM you and you can DM them. In other words, it's a two-way relationship. They can see your content, they can DM you, and you can do the same. So unlike other social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok, LinkedIn has created these tiers of relationship and first degree is the top of the tier. This is the place where you should get your ideal clients connected. Now the second degree network, and I'll just go to Sales Navigator and show you on Sales Navigator, second degree network is basically the people who are the friends of friends. In other words, they're connected to your firsts, but they're not connected to you. So there's no guarantee they'll see your content. And if you want to DM them, you will need to use InMail, whether that be an InMail credit or if they've got an open profile, they will, uh, you can message them for free, but still you have to use in mail. So these guys, uh, second degrees, don't see your content. They don't see anything. But if your content starts to get traction, the second degrees are the people who will, it will ripple out to after your first degree network. So second degrees are friends of friends. Now, third degree, there is nothing in common nothing in common at all. So that means uh, there's no common connections. So there's no mutual connections. There's no um, other connection point to them at all. They are completely away and isolated from you. In other words, the, oh, the, the closest they come to you is they've got a second degree connection in common. So here's a secret to growing your LinkedIn network quickly and getting more and more reach on your content. I'm just gonna show you this really, really quick. So yes, you wanna connect with first degrees. You wanna build your network with your ideal clients. But if you're starting out on LinkedIn and you haven't got a big connection base, maybe you're less than a thousand, you wanna broaden out your network to get in front of as many people as possible. So let me give you an example. So Dean has 29,999 connections. So one short of 30,000. And the maximum number of connections on LinkedIn is 30,000. John, who's just signed up for LinkedIn, has zero connections. John sends Dean a connection request. John gets one first degree, me, and he gets 29,000 999 second degree connections. Because he connected to me, he put 29,000 people next to him. So it's really important if you wanna grow your own network, you grow strategically by connecting with people who have bigger followings than you that makes your pool of second degrees uh, bigger. So when your content ripples out, when all of that stuff happens, it, you have a bigger pool of people that it goes to. One of the other reasons why you want to grow your second degree network is because uh, we have seen some evidence that if you connect with third degrees cold or you get a lot of rejected connection requests from thirds, your account gets restricted and you cannot afford your account to be restricted on LinkedIn. So first degree network you should fill with your ideal clients and people who work or are connected to them. So it grows your pool of, of first degrees. But as part of that, you're going to grow with some bigger accounts to put more ideal clients in your second degree network that you can connect with and will your content will ripple out to. Which means whilst your third degree network will always be mammoth, it will be huge, you'll have more 
ideal clients in your first and second degree network than anywhere else. So uh, one final tip on this. Um, first degree is friends. Second degree is friends of friends. Third degree, you don't know them from Adam and they don't know you. Be very careful about connecting with third degrees because their rejections can harm the health of your account, get you restricted. And if you get lots of rejected connection requests, it can get you banned from the platform for life. So I hope this video has been helpful in explaining the first, second and third degree network. Please do subscribe. I'd love to hear your comments. What are you struggling with LinkedIn? What are the things that you're doing on LinkedIn? That's your, what's the goal you want to achieve? What's the objective you want to get? Mention it in the comments. I'll do some more videos to help you get more clients and more visibility on LinkedIn.